Here's a quick tutorial just demonstrating some of the construction and um, notes to myself on how to put this all back together next time I use it. Um, the cool thing about this is all of this equipment is just my stereo um, that's normally in this really messy office right now. Um, and so none of this needs to be stored, it all just goes back into its respective locations. Um, so <clears throat> one thing to note is that uh, this strap is super important. Um, it's actually uh, very seamlessly coming through the floor here, but it wraps perfectly the um, the bar underneath and I get a really, I get a ratchet strap on it so it's super tight. And then in the back of that speaker, I have um, a couple braces here, one on the other side too, so that uh, it really can't move forward or back and then um, that strap is actually coming back here. Ideally it would go straight down the back um, but I don't have any cross supports on the cart so I came to the front where I can wrap this metal bar um, and it also serves to hold down the amp anyway so um, seemed to work great. I didn't have anything shift at all. Um, then. Uh, I have a little carpet pad just to um, squeeze these speakers together a little better. And then uh, I used a couple braces here just to attach the speakers together. And then I have another ratchet strap going around the entire stack um, holding the other direction down as well as the two speakers together. And then that's also wrapping uh, the metal bracing of the cart and if you see here you can see the other that's this one going across the other direction so uh, those seem to the pair of those seem to hold the fort down quite well um, these little tubes here are the LED lights um, I put three of those underneath they do some really neat effects like this so they they provide some cool ground effects um, and you can't really see at all how they're mounted um, I actually just drilled a tiny hole and down in the carpet you can see I wrapped a wire tie around a little nail so it's pretty well uh, pretty well hidden all the underneath structure uh, as far as the back um, this is uh, actually just for, for transport, but it's a fog machine. I pulled it out and put it underneath when I was running it. Um, the battery seemed to hold up quite nice. This actually draws 500 watts um, for about 10 minutes at a time because it's a heating element. Uh, and while this amp was turned um, actually full blast, which I believe this is a 150 or 200 watt amp, um, the uh, inverter here was actually showing a draw of over 600 watts for 10 minutes straight um, and everything held up great so I'm pretty impressed with um, those two pieces of equipment which belong to the RV which is parked at the moment so those two will go back to that um, again this is the home stereo so um, it actually goes right over there in the corner and um, had a little flag mounted here it's off of uh, and then this wire coming from the amp I actually just tied um, right to here so that it was um, next to all the rest of the disconnects so if this thing does fall off the bike it will happily just unplug right there and it won't be yanking wires out of amps or anything crazy like that um, this is another wheel light I just happened to have Perhaps the batteries died. Um, and then one of the coolest things was this um, light up part. It beats to the rhythm of the music and so it's kind of a nice, um, I liked the statement it portrayed. It was just kind of like a, especially amidst all of the violence of late. Um, I had a couple songs that I played that were kind of uniting and nice and I think that heart really tied that together as well. Um, the wheels spray painted black. I think they came out great. It looks really clean. And the the shag carpet was a really nice, um, it fit on there super tight and 
looks clean and it also provides a nice soft base and a little more um, tackiness to all the components. They shift around a little less than if they were on a slick board. So, um, oh, and then last but not least, the laser light show uh, mounted on top. This shoots a beam of a bunch of lasers um, behind it, which people seem to really like. And the way I powered that, I didn't want to run an AC adapter off of an already DC system. So um, this inverter happened to have a couple of USB ports on it. So I um, took an old cable, uh, ran, put, put a good length, I don't know, 10 feet of wire on it. And then I stuck one of these at the other end so I can, I can power any five volt device that I can probably find with this. Um, my Bluetooth adapter was this one, the laser show is this one, so um, that's pretty sweet and that's universal so I can just plug that in and power anything I want off of that. Um, and uh, I think that covers everything. So um, this was a fun project. I uh, really enjoyed running around. I had a pack of 20 people behind me fought riding behind me dancing on their bikes and stuff so that was kind of cool. Um, oh, uh, and then the other stuff I had to deal with, cause these are actually really cheap, horrible speakers, so, um, I don't know if we can see down in there. Yeah, you can. There's a cup, um, behind this mid-range, because when this woofer was moving, it was actually just completely blowing this apart, and it was making blapping sounds. Um, so, uh, I, I, uh, Gorilla glued a cup to the back of that to protect it and then um, stuffed it with some insulation which actually made the base and tone just a little bit tighter. Um, so for a pair of garbage speakers they actually sounded pretty decent. Um, and the other really cool thing which I can't show you because I'm on the phone is a, a great app for iPhone actually. I ended up using my Apple phone um, which allows you to set the equalizing frequency band, you can ch set the exact frequencies you want, and it also shows a real-time spectrum analyzer underneath your equalization band, which um, allowed these to sound really, really good. So what I wanted was not necessarily the loudest, but the best sounding, and I think I achieved that. There were about four other guys with sound carts, and every one of them was going for loudest volume. So. Um, I felt good about rolling out with uh, good sound, good quality sound that <clears throat> didn't need to blow your eardrums out, but just sounded good and balanced. So, um, cool. That's it. Thanks for watching.